So recently I just sold my Dell and I've received it back with complaints of poor battery life. And I won't bother going into that topic as I believe it's another issue. But anyway, um, this video today I'm talking about reducing the temperature of your Intel CPU in your Dell G3. This is also fairly relevant for other ma machines that are running the i5-9300H. Which if we go to performance here... 9300H at 2.4 gigahertz. Currently running at 1.2. So, idling away fairly nicely. The biggest dilemma I was having was during Counter Strike, it would constantly hit 100 degrees Celsius and be not very pleasant to play. Pleasant in the fact that it's generating a lot of heat and it's also generating a lot of fan noise. So I did alter one particular setting, which you can get to by going to start, hold down the shift button on your keyboard, go to power and restart. Keep holding that shift button while you do it. And what do we want to, want to do from here is go into the BIOS slash UEFI. We go to troubleshoot, advanced, here, reset. So now it's going to restart the computer and go directly into the UEF, UEFI. BIOS is so much better to say, so much easier. But anyway, and then what we're looking at is over here. Under performance, under turbo boost, I want to disable that. If we go over to here, the description it gives us, when it's enabled, it allows the Intel Turbo Boost driver to increase the performance of the CPU or graphics processor. So in other words, the single core processing, it does increase its frequency, but in turn it generates more heat. And more heat's going to mean potentially quicker to thermal throttle, especially in video games, and more fan noise. So what you want to do is go to here, also, while we're looking here, leave speed step enabled. That enables it to run at a lower performance. So once you've gone to Turbo Boost, disabled that, save it, restart it, and from there you should be hopefully on the way to a quieter Intel machine. And also, less give you less chance to encounter graphical thermal throttling. So that, if your cooling system in your laptop shares the copper heat pipes between the graphics card and the processor, well, if you have your processor running at 100% or graphics card trying to run at 100% and your graphics processor is running at 60 but this, the processor is at 100 degrees and your graphics at 60,